This is so cute. I really love this. I want to take a picture of this. Boop. Yes. Here you guys. Uh, I just want you to have a quick tour of my little garden. And yeah, today I just finished watering them and, you know, cultivate them and put some uh, cow manure, you know, carabao, carabao and cow manure as a natural fertilizer. We're going organic here. So this, this one here is a zucchini, 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 and there's uh, 16 of them growing. Yeah, there's 16 of them. They are three weeks old. Three weeks old. Yay! There's so much in there. So, I made this fence. Yeah, I built this fence so they could just crawl in there, you know. Also, to so stop the dogs from coming in. And there's more uh, bamboos there. I'm gonna use it for, you know, for the crawling plants. So, they could build their nest <laughs> and make babies. And right here are my fat sweet corn. Yeah, you see them? Yeah, if you seen my husband's vlog last time or pictures, they're just so tiny. And right now they're so big. Yeah, they're like three feet tall. Three feet tall sweet corn and there's probably like around 20 plus for them 20 23 something like that if i'm right look at them they're growing so good and healthy so yeah i cultivated them too and put some caramel manure so they can be strong and beautiful and yeah and that's a lime i get a lime there and here i got pumpkin you see my crawling pumpkin it's all the way up there now <laughs> look at that they're growing so good right they're curling and there's gonna be some flower look see you see the flower they're starting to make some babies soon too that's so adorable it's just like yesterday when they were so tiny and such a baby and now they're turning into uh, teenagers <laughs> And soon they'll make babies too. And this is string beans. String beans. Yeah. There's so much. If I'm gonna go right here. See that? They're all string beans. Yeah. And most of them are like all the way up there now. You know, trying to grow. And I made this. Coconut thing. A coconut <laughs> bamboo so they could crawl on it and I put like a, yeah, a green garden wires yeah look at them they're all crawling they're all up in there they used to be like two feet tall and now they're everywhere and probably another two weeks then they're gonna make babies for me yeah to feed mommy yes look at that Ooh, one is all the way up there that's really cute. Oh my god. See this one? Yay. They're everywhere. They're sprouting everywhere. Can you imagine this? Like one one uh string beans and it's just everywhere now. It's like a baby that's making a huge bushes. So yeah, I gotta I gotta grab them and make sure they crawl somewhere proper. So they don't go in other plants because yeah they make this little tiny string that helps them to crawl and keep in place you know you know what I mean <laughs> so yeah look at that they're everywhere let's head to I get more stuff here you see them that's how they look from little far yeah, a little farther from each other. You see that? They're so cute. Sorry about my grammar. I'm not that good. <laughs> okay, here you go. So, the problem in gardening are grasses. You see this? I pull this thing 
every other week and they just keep coming back they're unlimited try to keep them away but they're just unstoppable they're like love they're unstoppable <laughs> you got it you got it anyhow these are uh what do you call that we call it labuyo ceiling labuyo it's a very spicy type of chili it's a red long chili i think uh, it's a typical filipino chilies you know so there there's a lot of them you see there's probably like three five ten 14 in this row 14 of them and they're all growing healthy i do the same thing see i cultivate them and put some carabao to make them really fat and strong and yeah the fatter they are the more babies they could make and this is upo it's like a long uh long long common filipino vegetable i put some picture on the screen that so you can see how it looks but look at that they're growing so healthy so the other week i had a trouble with with getting rid of the pest you know that's one of the problems with the gardening it's like uh the pest that is roaring around the other week you know i kind of little depressed because some of them died you see that i made a little thing already this is like the the plastic straw that they use in grocery store you know when you go through a grocery and use it to tie your back uh, tie your box grocery box you know so you can bring it home safely so yeah what happened here is this insects like little little tiny wormy i don't know i'm not familiar with but i'm glad that i get to get rid of them i just sprayed some recall it seven or something so yeah now now they're trying to go back to life this one too i took the leaves that is infected already you see that now they look better and this one too is surviving trying its way <laughs> trying its best to live i hope so because one one of this means um one of this means a lot like you got one of this you could make a like 30 upos you know per harvest but this one i don't think it's gonna survive you see that it's so dead and i'm so sad it's so hard when you're planting and you lose one of them it's really breaking your heart like you lose a baby really anyhow you see this yeah there's one of them too it's another upo and this one is really growing up in there already see it's scrolling it's scrolling another upo another upo so there's three four five six seven eight surviving upo so far hang on i'm stuck here now oh no so yeah there's eight surviving upo i'm gonna take a video of you know like uh how let's take a video when they start crawling up there and making real babies <laughs> that'll be extra fun right now yeah they look like that I didn't take a video and didn't upload because yeah I'm just too busy with them these days also been caught up with family thing life thing you know I'm more focused on life than anything else I had a birthday yesterday and yeah I had a birthday yesterday and didn't really get any pictures not even one and yeah it's good that my aunt took some pictures and yeah i got some birthday pictures yesterday anyhow this is a bitter gourd let's move on you see that those are my little beetle and i love them because they make my plants grow really good beetles are not pests they're actually a what do you call that an angel in your garden because they they, you know 
they keep other pests away anyhow this is bitter gourd and right here you see them it's just so light I can't see what I'm taking right now but I got one two three four five six surviving uh, bitter gourd if you don't know how it looks see you see this that's how it looks and they get super big later I'm gonna wrap it with papers to make sure that the insect will not get in them but right now there it's gonna get super big and it's flowering now too you see that such a beautiful flower <laughs> a flower flower yeah it's gonna make so much babies you see that round thing it's gonna turn into a bitter gourd soon too so yeah right now there's so much of them coming and that's how they look and this one is growing up there already you see that yeah yeah good idea yes and there's another baby here oh my god i just noticed it now i didn't realize it until now now i got two of them i'm really excited it's like you know waking up in the morning with the purpose <laughs> like i used to not wake up like until 10 or something because i go to bed like super late like around 1 or 2 a.m every day and then I started growing my own plants because the price of vegetables here are like spiking really hard. It hits you in the ass. You ended up at not eating vegetable at least, you know, three times a week. That's how bad it is. It's like five times the original price before. And look at that bitter guard. It's growing so good. I got so much flowers. It's, they're too adorable. <laughs> like really adorable so yeah oh I forgot to show you on this side so remember before we get a long line of chilies now we get long line of bell peppers these are bell peppers and there's like three six nine eleven of them eleven bell peppers ah they're so good they look so healthy yeah they look so healthy so everybody is cultivated today yeah and pampered you know they get some pampering and this is uh what do you call that another ceiling labuyo uh, sorry i get a little acid reflux these days too <laughs> i mean growing through a lot like yeah <laughs> crazy anyhow these are another ceiling labuyo you know here's a picture so you know how it looks that ceiling labuyo another uh line of ceiling labuyo yay that's another one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen of them and another line here anyhow this is uh bell peppers another bell peppers you see them Oh, they look so cute yay they're growing so big yay soon they're gonna make so much babies these are my tomatoes yeah let's move on to our tomatoes look at them they're so good so yeah i've been busy these days uh replanting them you know uh before you what do you call that <laughs> I like it when I nurse them first before I replant them just to make sure all of them grow and all of the seeds will sprout you know or else you're gonna have like a spacing stuff like that and yeah since I got a little tiny space for planting I just want to make sure that I got the most of it here tomatoes there's so much of them it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine nine tomatoes right here and there's more tomatoes too Ugh. for me to show later you see them they're growing so big and these are okra there's my okra there's like in this line maybe seven of them seven okra see that they're just a baby now i just replanted Trans, uh, transplanted them maybe three days ago 
they're cultivated too. So yeah, three days ago, they're just... <coughs> Sorry, not that. <laughs> yeah, look at them. They're growing so good. If you don't know how it looks, here's, here's the picture. And let's go this way. It's really wide. There's a bunch of them. Okay, now there's more uh, jalapeno peppers here. These are the jalapeno peppers. You see them? And there's a huge line of them. There. They're all jalapenos. Oh, my dogs. They're all jalapenos right here. There's a bunch of them. And these are, you see I told you I had a trouble getting rid of uh, pest daughter, daughter, daughter days. Other week, yeah, that's what they do to my plant. Is you see that they're eating them alive. Oh, there's one. So yeah, I cultivated that too. If you are uh, wondering what is this, this is uh, what they call that melon dew. These are the melon dews, and this is how they look. Yeah, I can't wait for them too. So in this line, I got seven melon juice growing. Yeah, they are probably around almost four weeks old. Almost four weeks, and I uh, transplanted them maybe two weeks ago. Yes, look at them. They're growing their uh, real leaves now. Yay! And this one. Another uh, ceiling panigang. We call it ceiling panigang. It's like a long type of chili that we use for dynamites. You know, if you're familiar with dynamites recipe, yeah, this is what they use. This is what we use. See them? There's so many. It's around maybe 50 of them around here in this line. Yay! And there's more opera, of course. I got so much stuff in here growing. That's why it took me like, you know, maybe maybe three hours a day just to water them. Yay, look at them. They're growing so big. And here's my broccolis. It's really hot. Here's my... <laughs> it's really hot. I'm burning my face. So this is broccoli. These are the broccolis. You see them? That's how they look. They're a month old now. I transplanted them maybe uh, two weeks ago or no 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 maybe three weeks almost three weeks ago yeah three weeks ago transplanted they're around a month old now a month old or so and broccoli is usually you know they start bearing their babies at around 90 days 90 days or so if I'm right and here's another okra, of course. And here's eggplants. I got so much eggplants growing too. Oh, remember I told, uh, remember okra? I'm sorry, I'm burning my face. Remember okra? This is how they look. You see that? This is how they look when they make their babies. Yeah, that's the okra. Yay, they're so delicious. It helps you fight cancer and everything. They get so much uh, health benefits, <laughs> more than you can handle. <laughs> Anyhow, so those are my broccolis. So if you're like, we're looking at around 200 heads. Yeah, that's around 200 heads. These are my babies, cauliflowers. You see them? They're just babies. I just plant, replanted them the other week. So they're one week old. See that? One week on uh, the nursery and one week on the outside world. <laughs> Yay! Look at them. It's so nice. And I get so much eggplant here. You see them? Ooh. And okra. More okra. So yeah. That's around maybe... Uh, let's count. I forgot. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22 heads of eggplants. 22 plants. 
eggplants. Oh my, there's some rabbit collies. Oh, they're fighting the sun. Yeah, they're struggling so much with the sun. It's really hot here right now. We're in uh, almost summer. So we're dealing with around 28 degrees Celsius to 30 plus. It's really hot. I'm burning my face right now. But I just want to show you guys, you know, I know you've been asking for this. And the last time you see them, they're just such a babies. They're just newborns. And now they're growing so big, super healthy. So what did he do here to keep the moisture, you know? To keep the uh, soil moistured so it doesn't get dry easily. It's like when I pull grasses and they're totally dry, I put the dried grasses around them. You see, like to cover the soil, something like that, if you can see that. And there's carabao manure there, you know, to keep them healthy. You see that? There are cow poops. <laughs> they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah. That's what I use as a fertilizer. I don't use anything because we're trying to make uh, an organic uh, garden here so we can make our organic food. And there's a lot of beetles everywhere. They're doing such a great job in keeping them healthy. Anyhow, here's the mixing. See this? These are a bunch of caribou poop. These are like old coconut tree, you know, they cut it, you see that? They cut it, and then, yeah, I use it as a mixing area where I put my carabao poop. <laughs> and, uh, you know, when we make eggs, I took the eggshells too and uh, chop it, you know, what do you call that? Pout, uh, crack it in tiny bitsy bits, <laughs> and then mix it here. And all the vegetable too, I blend them. Like vegetable peel, I blend them and mix it with this. Yeah, sometimes right now there's nothing on it because it's just caribou poop. I gathered them from yesterday in the river. So yeah. Right now it's just like that. So yeah, it's good that you get some uh, purpose for your for your vegetable peels and egg yo uh egg eggshells. Oh there's so much ants <laughs> it started eating me. Oh my god. Yeah, see that? Okay, let's move on. So here's our pak choy. Yeah. This are pak choy. This is actually Chinese uh pet chai. They call it pak choy. They use it for soup, you know, for ramyun and uh Chinese soup, something like that, Korean soups. I forgot. Uh, I forgot where they. Uh, what's that? Hmm. Anyhow, <laughs> they're pak choy. I, I'll show you what the picture of where they use it. Anyhow, they're so big. See that? They're so big. The last time you saw them, they're just such a babies. And right here, the problem is most of them died. You see that? There's a lot of spacing. They died from so much heat. They can't handle so much sunlight. So, yeah. Most of them died. And I got lettuce. I have to take a long, long video for this, guys. It's just so much of them. But I love it. Oh, uh, by the way, I'm growing like 16 different kinds of vegetables here. So 16 different kinds. So they start my lettuce and they're so big now. You see that? Oh, yeah. Uh, so actually I'm using them already for uh, Darling's burger and you know, for the salad soon something like that so what I'm doing is I'm not pulling them I'm just trimming so yeah when you trim then you know they grow more leaves and that's how you keep the lettuce coming <laughs> you don't pull them <laughs> you just cut and trim them so yeah you get fresh lettuce every day and fresh salad if you want to you see that they're so gorgeous they're growing so healthy 
and this here oh I get some flower it's a dwarf sunflower these are the radishes yay on the last picture they're just so tiny too but now they're like yeah they're everywhere they're sprouting and they're so fat and healthy they're growing so good so yeah I'm using uh, coca beets you know when I get a time I get some coca beets uh, vermicast carabao manure eggshells everything that I could use to fertilize them to keep them healthy and now you can see there's a tiny radish there <laughs> they're probably gonna be ready in another three weeks guys three weeks I'm gonna have some radishes growing in my backyard actually it's not backyard it's front yard <laughs> I don't know yeah look at them <sighs> I'm so excited this is like yeah it's fucking amazing oh bad word it's so amazing <laughs> blame radix I got it from him <laughs> I started saying F words. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Oh my. They're just so good. And right here, if you're, oh, look at this beautiful sunflowers. So yeah, this is where I'm nursing my sunflower. There's more sunflower there. They're growing. And here's my baggy beans. Yeah. We call it Baguio beans because it's usually growing in Baguio City. If you know Baguio City, yeah. Ooh, look at that. I could check, uh, show you pictures right there. Just look at it. Here's the Baguio beans. You see them? They're everywhere. And actually today, I didn't pull them yet because I want you to see. See them? See, you gotta get rid of this dry leaves so it gives some way for the others to grow better especially if they're bearing babies yes it's like a mom that is feeding a baby it needs more nutrients to support the needs of the babies yeah there i'm gonna i'm i'm going to harvest them today i'm gonna make a meal and i'm gonna make another blog on what i'm gonna do with them are you excited i am excited it's my first harvest. <laughs> it's my first harvest. Yay! Okay, I'm sorry about the cut. I'm sorry about that. Uh, my my phone get like uh reach its limit. <laughs> yeah, it stopped recording. I didn't realize that it stopped recording. It says memory full. Delete some files. I'm just using my phone here. And I only get like 32 gig memory, so it's not it's not pretty good. And I got a bunch of Bobby's videos on it, so I gotta delete some that I I think I sent already in the group. At least I get a copy of it. And look at this. This is my first ever babies, broccoli babies. And they're around maybe 70 days, something like that. Almost three uh almost yeah, more than two months, around two months. Yeah, look at them. See, this is how broccoli looks when you're growing them. And never seen a growing broccoli before. Not until right, uh, not until I started planting them. And yeah, look at them. They're so big. So yeah, I do the same. This one is my first trial. Broccolis here don't usually grow in, uh, you know, other place aside from Baguio. You know, Baguio City, they're cold. They're on top of the mountains. And usually Broccolis loves uh, cold weather, cold and hot weather combination. And I didn't know if they're going to grow here. So I did the test, you know, plant 21 of them and see if they grow. And they did. That's, that's why I replanted more. You know, that's why I planted more seeds. And I'm so glad that they're growing so good. And yeah. They're probably going to start making babies at another two weeks. Something like that. I'm so excited. And I got here some more buggy beans scrolling. You see that? And there's more buggy beans right there. And these are my cauliflowers. Yeah, there's more cauliflowers in here. 
So yeah, for the broccolis around 200 heads. Same for the cauliflowers, maybe more for the cauliflowers because uh, yeah, some of them died, but not not as much as uh, that that rate for broccolis. <laughs> Anyhow, these are celeries. Oh, you see that? <laughs> I get some celeries growing here, so I'm expecting around maybe 80 heads to 100 heads of celery for harvest. But right now they're just so tiny you could hardly see them. You could hardly see them. Yeah, my neighbor who comes to see my my plants every morning sometimes she forgot that there's polis around. Uh, I mean, celeries around here, and she just step on them. <laughs> She always forgot she's she's kind of old she's around 60 or something so yeah there are my salaries and if you check this if you see this these are grocery boxes um, my throat just hurts these are the grocery boxes that you know we brought home from grocery store and I don't just throw them I use, reuse them there's actually more around there so I reuse them for planting, put holes under, you know, put some uh, soil on it, garden soil. And these are, uh, these are my swamp cabbage, you know, swamp cabbage. They're not really in the swamp, They're, they call it, uh, they, they call it England, inland, England, yeah, it's from England. They call it inland uh, swamp cabbage, you know, you could just grow them in the soil. So what you're going to do with them is if you want to make some vegetable, you just trim them and they will regrow. Regrow, regrow until they can't uh, do it anymore. Look at the radishes, they look so beautiful and healthy. Anyhow, let's move on. So right here, there's more baby, baby uh, celeries. They'll be ready for replanting in another week. So we're going to replant them in another week. And there's more babies around here that I'm growing. These are... Uh, so I got zucchini and I got cucumber. Yeah. And these are the cucumbers. The zucchini is right there. I showed it to you already earlier. And these are my basils. Yes. You see that? Oh, that's parsley. It's not basils. They're baby parsley. That's why it looks so different. And this is my Thai basils. They're growing too. We're gonna replant them soon. Yay! And there's more uh, melon dew around there. And this area, we could. Uh, in this area, you can see the cauliflowers. It's another cauliflower. There are another cauliflowers there. Where you're looking at around maybe uh, 70 or 80 heads right here. Yeah, there's so many. I lost track of how, man, uh, how much they are. You see that? That's another inland uh, swamp cabbage. Yes, there's so many. So I use this. I did like that so you know whoever come and visit my garden they will not step on my babies I can see my babies and they don't step on them because you know they are so babies you can hardly see them yet and this one is sayote yeah this is a baguio vegetable too I just tried to plant them here so these are like uh, contain, you know, water containers that I cut them in half and uh, plant on them like that. Because yeah, he, we want to make it work. We want to recycle. We don't just throw, or else the earth will not survive in another ten or fifteen years. We gotta build the earth for our future gens, for our babies. Like our real babies or human babies, you want them to enjoy the earth for another three years, three years, thirty years or so. So yeah, I just planted them in soil, you know, 
and hopefully they will grow this is just a trial and error guys I don't really know I did the research and they, they it says that you could regrow them by doing this so I just bought a sayore in the uh, supermarket and then plant them uh, I'm out of I'm out of uh, storage anyhow this you're looking at uh, red onions around here see that they're red onions they're just a baby I just replanted them like I just planted them it's direct planting they're like three weeks old yeah three weeks old you plant red onions direct plant you direct plant them yeah just make sure you put some spaces it's really hot in here so I got this black uh, black net you know to keep them to keep them from so much heat the filter so this is how it looks around here see that yes it looks so good I mean yeah in my opinion it, there looks super awesome anyhow in this area I got more lettuces see that but most of them died because the reason the reason why I put a fence because the caretaker dogs are just everywhere and I just keep stomping my babies that's why if you notice there's a lot of space between my collies or broccolis because they stamp on them and they just die and here's the carrots they're growing so big there's so much carrots in here there's a long line of carrots we're looking at around maybe 300 to 400 uh, heads of carrots here yeah I think they could be ready in another two months they are around two months old now so I think they take so long maybe four to five months for harvest something like that you would know they're good for harvest when they're around uh, maybe three feet three feet tall two to three feet yeah so yeah those are my lettuces there I got lettuces on those tiny things too let's move on so yeah those are lettuces too you see the space between them there's so much space because the caretaker dogs killed them I tried to replant them but they just died they get like broken stem and such and here my mouth is tired of talking now <laughs> so yeah here I get some beetroots record pa ako eh papakita ko sa kanila ah umuwi hindi pa te umuwi te tulog pa sila te apo these are my beetroots that's my uh, neighbor the old lady that come by here every morning to see them cause she said they look so awesome and it's pretty relaxing and it is so these are my beetroots. I planted some beetroots because I got kidney stones and it's good for my kidneys. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully they grow soon so I can blend them really good and drink them and be healthier. Yay. Kidneys are just so hard to deal with. Like I'm mostly like uh Yeah. It's not easy anyhow so when I get to see them I just help them stand up when they're falling down you know when someone is falling down you gotta uh, cheer them up you know help them regrow and help them help them stand up again <laughs> you don't let them fall completely you help them as much as you can and that's what I'm doing with my uh, red beets yes they're anti-cancers too they're really healthy they're one of the healthiest uh, vegetable you can have so yeah we're looking at around uh, maybe how many heads maybe around 70 heads beetroots 70 beetroots growing so there's more lettuces in there 
let's go for uh, my tomatoes so I get growing tomatoes here already around uh, two months old these are two months old tomatoes they're so big and growing so healthy those are another water containers these are the boxes from the grocery store and here's another uh, onions see that they're spring onions they're just baby spring onions and they use the milk container you know Pringles that daddy likes and the drink that I like fiber enriched uh, pineapple juice heart smart and milk yeah for for the kids uh, cocoa crunch and here's more radishes yeah more radishes and kamari tops yay they're so delicious so yeah this I think that's all I'm out of storage now but yeah I'm so glad I could show this to you guys it's kind of delayed but yeah it's coming <laughs> Your word is my word. My word is your word. Our word is our band, you know. Okay, I gotta... Uh, my recording got cut again. I gotta delete some videos. It's taking me so long to record. Anyhow, uh, it's getting really hot in here now. I'm really having a quick tan. <laughs> like super tan. I got so much tan yesterday already. And the neighbor is like, hey, you should go in. It's really hot. I'm like, yeah, I will sh sh soon. <laughs> Very soon. So what we're going to do here is we're going to harvest all those beans. And I'm going to make a vlog on what I'm going to make with them. And yeah. See ya. See, uh, we're gonna, you're going to see it soon. We're going to upload. <laughs> now I'm out of English. My English bucket is over. So, what I'm gonna say, uh, we're gonna make a video of that, and yeah, we're gonna probably we're gonna upload this garden tour, uh, garden tour tonight, you know, after a week or so of no content. Oh my, I'm so sorry about that. I'm just, yeah, I'm just having an up and downs, you know, life, and also yeah my garden uh pest and also i'm trying to get rid of the grasses and then i start you know i got i got super tired at night because me and brandon get a super different time time frame so he's sleeping at daytime be up at night and i'm the one who's being up at daytime and sleeping at night so it's so hard to meet our time together you know yeah that's pretty that's the hard part about working at night and yeah sleeping at daytime i guess but we're making it work so yeah i'm tired that day uh i want to get when the night comes i'm just super tired and just want to lay down and rest after a whole day of doing the house and the the garden and stuff you know this is so cute. I really love this. I want to take a picture of this. Boop. Yes. They're so adorable. Hey. Look at them. I got a I got my lucky flower there. You see that? Yeah, it's keeping my my garden pretty good. It's sprouting really good because there's a lot of organic fertilizer around her. So she just sprout everywhere. Those are the boxes that I'm gonna use soon. I'm pretty hungry now. So I gotta get I gotta get going guys. I get I still have to make breakfast for my babies. Wanna I uh, yeah. I still have to wake up daddy. Wake daddy up with his breakfast in bed. He loves breakfast in bed every morning. And with the coffee, of course. We gotta spoil the king. Yeah. We gotta spoil the king. Yay. Okay, see you on the next one. Bye-bye.